Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Everything Apple, and today I'm just going to show you how to get Mac OS X Lion 10.7 retail working on your PS a uh, PC. That means if you have if you have a PC and if you really want a Mac and can't afford it, you're at the right video. So first thing is first, uh, we gotta go through some requirements first. And the users stay away from this because this will not work for you, and you will end up damaging your system. Cause uh, from what I believe, uh, AMD users does not have hardware virtualization, so the program we're gonna use, that's called VMware Workstation, will not work on this. So don't. You can try if you want. If it works for you, good. But I don't think it will work. I tried it, and it didn't work. Second. Intel users, yes, this will work for you, but you need to have more than a uh, higher, higher upgrade than Intel Core Duo 2. Uh, that there's a reason for this, because if you're not higher than it, if you're on Intel Core 2 Duo, the, the result will be very laggy, and you're gonna end up hating it. So might as well not do it. Um, I'm doing this on my laptop because uh, my PC doesn't have the hardware virtualization working on it because it's a Pentium, so it won't work on that. And I am running on Core i5. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to show you later on after that. So let's get started, guys. It's a long process. Let's get started. So first, you got to go on uh, this website. The link's going to be in the de description for everything. So don't worry about that. It's called Securable. Uh, it's called grc.com slash securable and uh, it's a way to test uh, if the VMware workstation will work on it if you if if it says yes 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 like right here if it says yes 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 so that means it will work uh, so you can go control um, and download now and say file uh, we're gonna save it on our desktop because we need it and we can minimize that. And there it is. We can bring that in center. Right here, securable. So we can go ahead and start it. Uh, as you can see, you gotta press yes, and uh, there it tells me everything. It says 64 bit. I'm using 64 bit on my laptop. It's Intel Core i5, as you can see here. And uh, it's the hardware DEP is yes, and hardware virtualization that AMD users does not have is yes. So uh, we're ready to do this. If if you have everything yes, it's perfect. Let's exit that and get that aside because we're done with that. You can delete that. That's all we needed for. So next is you need to download this link. It's going to be a raw link, and uh, you need to unraw it to be over here. The link is right here. I'm gonna give it to you. It's a Mediafire link. It's a torrent link, of course. So you can just uh, I'm gonna refresh this just a second, and I can just process downloading and click here to download. And you can. It's a uTorrent file, so you need to download the torrent. It's a three gig file. It's gonna might take a while. Depends on your internet. And you can just save it. Yes, it's a it's a um, beta version of Lion, but we will update it later. But Mahmoud, thanks to Mahmoud, who has provided us with this link, has made it work. So all credit to him, guys. And as you download and your turn file is done, you can unroll it to a folder. Uh, the link's gonna be in the description for WinRAR and everything, uTorrent and everything. So once we have it unrolled, we go in the folder. First thing we do is go on VM works their workstation, and uh, we're gonna click it. the keys for because this is our trial version. So you can get the keys over here. As you can see, there's a, probably more than eight keys in there, and you can use it. It will work for you guys, I'm sure of it. And uh, let's go ahead and install it. I've already installed it, but I'm gonna show you how to install it. So I don't want you guys to make any mistakes and stuff. It's kind of going to take a little while. And you press yes. Oh, uh, just a second. Uh, it's going to load up. You can just minimize that. 
Uh, nope. And yes, it's gonna load up as usual. Uh, we can do that. <coughs> Let it load. Oh, there you go. Then you go next, and here it says modify, repair, and remove because I've already installed it. But in yours, it's gonna say custom or typical, so you go with typical unless you're a great user and you go next 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 and agree it to it and then install it after it's installed it's gonna ask you to restart it so you should restart it unless it won't boot and once you have uh, restarted it we are here and we're gonna go on VMware workstation we're gonna open it and I am gonna show you how to share files between the Mac and the PC because well, cause the well, cause the Mac OS X line version we're using it's a beta version for developers that, uh, that was before it came out it's the real Mac OS X came out and um, we will download a uh, there's gonna be a link for downloading Mac OS X line and we will update it to Mac OS X line not the beta version but the real version and it's gonna stay in the app store that it is installed so don't worry about that guys and uh, we can go on file or we can click on this I'll go on file and open and we go on the desktop and we find our folder oh wait a second no I am sorry we need to do one thing more we need to enable the patch it says right here patch enable you go in batch file or oh, it won't work as you can see because you need to turn uh, right click it and run as administrator and yes and let it authenticate it authorization to mac os x line so that it can work on the virtu virtual machine and it's gonna close itself like i said and you can cross that and run wor vmware workstation of course <coughs> and then you can go and file open desktop of course wherever you save the files doesn't matter you can go on that pre-installed it's pre-installed so you don't need to install it but we are going to install the Mac OS X line real version but not the beta version of course so you go on Mac OS X line VMX file and open it here you get to play around with the settings a little bit like general power stuff you can go on enable features oh sorry about that not about that but edit virtual machine settings and you can set it up the memory the ram the maximum high is 8 GB 8 gigabyte of course P processors now that depends on the processors you have I have two processors and two other processors so in total I have four processors I have four processors so it's gonna work with me four and uh, doesn't matter where, where it is should go with the automatic over here. AMD won't work even if it says it. I know it. Uh, hard disk, it's minus 200 gigabyte. You can change it by going to utilities, expanding, and you can change it to as many as you want. You can make it 100 gigabyte anyway. You need to have your hard disk working with that. So, hard disk. CD should be auto, auto detect. It's floppy. Uh, no one uses that these days. Not network adapter, yes, it's supposed to be NET. It's just gonna connect to your thing, no Wi Fi, it's gonna work. Not Wi Fi won't work on Mac. You need to use the connections you're using on your PC. Sound card display options. Um, you can name the machine, you can know which one it is 64 bit, of course, it is, and you can tell the working directory. Power, you can enter the full screen of power. You just gotta play around with the settings here, okay, guys? And uh, press OK when you're done. Um, this is a full screen button. When you power on your machine, you can press that. Mine, all, whenever I turn on the power, it just automatically turns into full screen. I can show you how to do that later. Like, you can just go on power here, here, and then enter full screen mode after powering on. And yeah, okay. And uh, power on this virtual machine, and we turn it on. It's gonna load up here. So let it load. Of 
course. Oh, I booted up fast for me this time. First time it's gonna kind of be slow here, as you can see. And if uh, in the process of this turning on, if you want to return to your computer, you have to press Control and Alt together to get your mouse on, and then you can minimize it. And you can cross that home then. And you can minimize it, use your PC right at the same time when this is booting up. How cool is that? <laughs> you have two virtual machines right on one machine. You have a Mac OS X running on Acer. I'm using an Acer PC, a Acer laptop, sorry. And yeah, I know that's pretty cool for the guys if you can't get afford Mac. You, there you go, you have Mac OS X Lion, the newest model. I think it's pretty cool. And it's kind of low.